brothers and sisters in Christ, through the sacrament of baptism, we are initiated into Christ's holy church. We are incorporated into God's mighty acts of salvation and given new birth through water and the Spirit. All of this is God's gift offered to us without price. And so I present to you Theodore Matthew Gratch for baptism. To the parents, on behalf of the whole church, I ask you, do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, reject the evil powers of this world, and repent of your sin? If so, answer, I do. I do. Do you accept the freedom and the power God gives you to resist evil, and power to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms they present themselves? If so, answer, I do. I do. Do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior? Put your whole trust in his grace and promise to serve him as your Lord in union with the church which Christ has opened to people of all ages, nations, and races? If so, answer, I do. I do. Will you nurture Theodore in Christ's holy church, that by your teaching and example he may be guided to accept God's grace for himself, to profess his faith openly, and to lead a Christian life? If so, answer, I will. I will. Will those who are sponsoring Theodore support and encourage him in his Christian life? If so, answer, I will. I will. To you, the congregation, and to any family who may be here, do you, as Christ's body, the church, reaffirm both your rejection of sin and your commitment to Christ? If so, answer, we do. Will you nurture one another in the Christian faith and life and include this child now before you in your care? Will you join me in this promise? With God's help, we will proclaim the good news and live according to the example of Christ. We will surround this child of God with a community of love and forgiveness that he may grow in his trust of God and be found faithful in his service to others. We will pray for him that he may be a faithful disciple who walks in the way that leads to life. Let us join together in professing the Christian faith as contained in the scriptures of the Old and New Testaments. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, is seated at the right hand of the Father, and will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Brothers and sisters, let us pray. Eternal Father, when nothing existed but chaos, you swept across the dark waters and brought forth light. In the days of Noah, you saved those on the ark through water. After the flood, you set in the clouds a rainbow. When you saw your people as slaves in Egypt, you led them to freedom through the sea. Their children you brought through the Jordan to the land which you promised. In the fullness of time, you sent Jesus nurtured in the water of a womb. He was baptized by John and anointed by your spirit. He called his disciples to share in the baptism of his death and resurrection and to make disciples of all nations. Pour out your Holy Spirit. Bless this gift of water and those who will receive it to wash away sin and clothe in righteousness throughout their lives, that dying and being raised with Christ, all may share in his final victory. Amen. What name are we going to give him? Theodore Matthew? Theodore Matthew. All right. Theodore, we're going to do this as quickly and as simply as possible, okay? <laughs> I like smiles. Theodore Matthew, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and in the name of the Son, 
In the name of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit work within you. That being baptized in water, that you may be a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. No matter what people say, say or think about you, you are a child, you are a child of God. Amen. There he goes. Amen.